Just a very short segment here with the whiteboard with regard to passing. You can refer back to this as we go through the different drills and some of the different passing drills you can do in your practices. In terms of reference here, point number one, have your players do everything with two hands, meaning using both hands equally whenever they pass. So if it's a chest pass or a bounce pass, try to have your players execute the pass by coming from their chest or from their core and by using both hands. You don't want to have a player wind up with one hand or their strong hand and throw a bounce pass that turns out to be a one-handed pass and this the other hand basically does nothing. By having two hands behind the ball they'll get a lot more power and a lot more accuracy and it's also fundamentally correct. Number two, finish with palms out and thumbs down so that if it's a chest pass you have your hands behind the ball on completion of the pass your palms should be out and your thumbs will point down. Now whether or not first, second, third grade kids uh, execute that precise technique or not is okay. At least they know the concept and they can, they can work on it. But you know, we've seen it done where kids even that young over time, over the course of a season let's say, if you're doing this continuously you know, during your practices and every practice covering these kind of things, they will get better at it and they will learn the concept of, of palms out, thumbs down and really be able to do it well. By the time they hit fourth and fifth grade, if, they, if they've heard this for three years, they should be able to do this very well. The last thing, core energy. That means the players should not ever pass the ball from up around their face because if they, you know, if they can see it and they think, well, maybe if I throw it from up here, I'll be able to see where I'm throwing it or throw it from the side, from either side because they don't have the strength. You're going to get all kinds of kids at all different kinds of levels when it, when it comes to the skill of passing. But when we talk about core energy, that means starting the ball here when you're low, starting the ball at your chest level, and being able to execute passes from your chest, whether it's bounce pass, chest pass. Bounce pass, you'll see kids that will start the ball up over their head and try to throw the ball almost through the floor. They want to start from their core. This way the ball stays lower, they're more accurate, and it also follows suit that when they do it for the bounce pass, they'll do it for the chest pass. Now you have kids doing the same thing with the same technique over and over and over again, and that's how they improve. So refer back to this whiteboard when you're doing the passing drills, and let's check out the videos with regard to passing. This segment we're going to talk about passing, and specifically passing with younger players, and getting them just to do a couple of things um, to be able to pass effectively kids in first, second grade and younger levels when they're first starting to pass or they've never passed before, just giving them a couple things to work on and think about as they're going. Okay. And what you want to do early on is to make sure your players have success, to be able to have them actually catch it first, to be able to just be able to catch it and throw it basically first without having to tell them to do a lot of different things. So as we pass back and forth, all we want to do first is just make sure we have a feel for the ball. All right, and be able to just say, okay, you want to throw it back and forth to me so I can catch it, and I'm going to throw it to you so you can catch it as well. Okay. Once they've established that, now we can get into some specifics about, okay, now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to bend down as we pass. What we're doing now is we're throwing a bounce pass, which is fine. You can throw your chest pass, bounce pass, doesn't matter. Okay. When we throw bounce passes, now we bend down a little bit, and we can throw the ball, besides throwing the ball into the ground. So we're going to stay down with the ball, pass the ball into the ground, so the ball bounces up to the other player. The things you can talk about with younger players, you try to say, okay, if we draw a line down the middle of the court, which will be easy on most courts, which will have the lane line, you can use the lane line on each side. If we pass and say, okay, try to hit that spot midway between us. And now, throw the ball from your chest. So you throw the ball from your chest and try to throw it into the ground like that. Over time, you can add some things to this. For example, you can say, okay, now this time we're going to step and pass. And so I declare step and pass, and that's very good. Now we throw a chest pass, same principle. We throw a chest pass, now the ball doesn't hit the ground. And again, you want to be able to have your players throw passes at each other so that the ball's not flying all over the gym. That's what you have to really, really establish first, is the ability to pass and catch. 
So we have a target. We always try to tell them, tell players to hit the hands, have a target that you're going to aim for. So when you do pass, you can hit a target and they can pass it back to you and you get a lot more good repetitions in that way. 